I have stripped myself of one of my programmer infinity stones. That's right. I can no longer say I use Dvorak, by the way. I mean, I can still say I use Arch, by the way. I use Neovim, by the way. I'm married, by the way, but I use Dvorak. It's over. I'm saying goodbye to my custom Dvorak layout after 10 years, and though I have some pretty good reasons for why I'm doing that, I first want to just show it to you. Look at my layout. Now, that is a real programmer's Dvorak. This is an objectively good layout. Look at the symbols. They're symmetrical. Open, open, open. Close, close, close. It works amazing on the Kinesis. Uh, it works amazing on my laptop. Uh, uh, now, the reason why I created my own custom Dvorak, of course, is that programmer's Dvorak is terrible. Look at this. Why do you have open square bracket, open squirrely brace, close squirrely brace, open parenthesis? Like, who created this? There is no rhyme or reason, and why are the numbers the way they are? So, of course, I had to create my own custom Dvorak layout. I mean, I was already going to learn a new layout anyways. I might as well take it to the max. I switched to a custom keyboard layout because when I was typing on a laptop, my wrists were just hurting. And, and during this time of my life, I was using a laptop exclusively. And the worst part about all of this is that I'm actually going back to QWERTY. Yes, the proletariat card is back in my hand. I'm just one of the plebs again. So why am I doing this? Well, I'm doing it for my son. I do, I'm doing it because I want to be able to sit down and just program with him. He's learning how to program for the first time, and that brings so much joy to my heart. And I just want to spend the time with him. And sometimes he's using his school laptop. I can't install my custom layout on there. Sometimes he's using the Arch machine that I gave him. Fantastic, by the way. He's getting a little familiar with it. And sometimes we're on our Windows computer playing around with Roblox. I just don't want to have to be kind of like beholden to this custom layout anymore. I want to just simply be able to type and create programs with my kid on any computer. A lot of this motivation is because time's coming to a close. I can feel all my kids getting older and I can feel time slipping away. And so I don't want to have to have this weird barrier where it's just like, okay, yeah, we'll program. But when we get home and when we're on the specific machine, it's like, nah, I don't care where we're at. I just want to be able to do the thing with you on any computer. A lot of this just comes from the fact I, I didn't have a dad. I grew up without a dad. I don't know how to be a dad. I don't know what it takes to be a dad. So I'm out here guessing. But I do know one thing, which is spending quality time seems to make a huge difference in their lives. And honestly, it makes a huge difference in my life. I know what it means to have a dad by being a dad. And there's kind of something special too where my kids think I'm actually still cool because I can type so fast and program so fast. So I want to be able to do that on any machine at any point. I don't want to have to be like, ooh, I'll help, but let's just hold on. I'm really bad at this. It just, I look like a nerd. I look, I want to be out there. I want to impress those kids. So it's been less than four days and this is my typing. This is me learning how to QWERTY being all the way down in the 30s when I first started. And now I'm kind of regularly hitting, you know, mid high 90s on monkey type. On KBR, not nearly as impressive because the word set is significantly harder. But honestly, the thing that hurts the most is Vim. And the reason why is if you look on Dvorak, where the J and K are, that's where C is. So every time it's like in my head, I'm like, I want to go down and I press C and I'm like, it didn't work. So I press it just again in my head. Then I delete the line. Then I go into insert mode and then I'm like, crap. I, and then I'm like, undo because the line just disappeared. I haven't registered that I went into insert mode because that's not what I was doing. And then all of a sudden you start popping on the screen and it just, it's so disorienting. I will tell you what, I forgot how bad it is to switch layouts. Part of me thinks I should have never switched to begin with, but honestly, I was completely terrified with the wrist. I, I was I was scared. I just had my second kid, and I felt like I had to do that. And so I've already gone through this pain once. I remember using Vim with Dvorak and thinking, this is so bad, I'm never going to be able to do it, and eventually I got good at it. Now it's the same thing. I'm doing it again in my elder life. <laughs> oh, I hate this so much. But at the end of the day, all this pain and all this frustration using Vim right now, I'm like, I literally use Vim like a normie right now. It feels so bad. But all of this pain, all of this just nonsense that I'm going through is totally worth it. It's awesome being a dad to someone who wants to learn how to program, and I happen to be good at that skill. So it is quite an amazing experience. And this pain, it's worth it. It's worth every second. The name is the Primogen.